I uh, due to that long scene in the first let's play video obviously I really didn't want to put in um cut off anything because it was all scenes so obviously I really didn't need to cut off anything at all I'm not skipping any scenes but here's where we get started with Traverse Town I'll show you a few battles and I'll cut off I'll say okay I'll cut off and then the battle and then we'll go on Honestly, I'm not going to waste your time for long. Alright, you have red raspberries, soldiers, and shadows. In this game, you can actually get Pluto. Sometimes. Not all, not commonly. Freeze. That was waste. Potion. Potion get take gives you brings back your attack cards, not your magic. Level up. Lasting days. Learning sliding dash. They also give you a pay. They also um give you um an idea on how to use how to make how to use sliding dash. So three cards the exact same type that um value up to not uh, ten to fifteen. But these battles are pretty simple. You can do this too. Freeze. Alchemic walking. Alright, let's see here. What else? There should be more enemies. Yep, there's another enemy right there. I think I can do sliding dash. Yep. There's sliding dash right there. If you want to recycle the card, just do that. But here's Goofy Smash. Just use one Goofy and an attack card, and you get Goofy Smash. Freeze. I can use sliding dash a couple of times. I don't normally escape any battle because it gives me experience, so I really don't need to mind that much about it. And also, like Sora can automatically like move to enemies quicker. But yeah, each room has a different, uh... And if you mess, if you attack an enemy, or if an enemy comes right at you, and you, you have something to collect, you're not getting it. That's just the way it is for some reason. I need white HP. The beginning of the game gets you a certain, a lot of level, lets you level up more. Like the first game, because it takes you a while to like level up real like early, unless you know I have to cut off and make some more, but level up some more. Makes things so much easier. Stagnant space. Oh, there's a Moogle point. There's actually another Heartless right there. A red raspberry. There's a blue, um... I believe... I know... No, not blue... Not red raspberry. Blue nocturnes. Red nocturnes and blue raspberries. That's what they are. I've got that confused so many times in my first let in Kingdom Hearts 1 let's play. Hope you don't mind that. I'm normally clueless when it comes to enemies. Ooh, watch this. Lizaga Thundaga. Awesome. They also have their HP shown anyway, so don't worry about that one bit. You do want to 
look around and Ah, uh, health orbs, I need these. Here's the map right here. The criteria you need to enter here would be this one this be a one or higher map card and the team beginnings. It's follow along the story mostly when you enter rooms like this. Here's the third district. Hmm, fighting alone isn't as easy as I thought. Ah! Don't pop out of nowhere like that. Hey, it's not our fault. We don't know what's going on. Oh, no! Pluto? Things keep getting stranger. What's Pluto doing here? There's nothing strange about that. We came to Traverse Town with Pluto, didn't we? Did we? No, wait. According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to town with Pluto. Whack, he's right. We were chasing after Pluto, and that's how we ended up in Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Traverse Town? Well, it's not really Traverse Town. I think the card created this Traverse Town inside Castle Oblivion. Ah, who cares about all that? It's too confusing. I don't know where we are, but let's just keep moving forward defeating Heartless. We'll get somewhere. You better be careful, or it's the Heartless that are going to defeat you. It's Leon. Or Squall. Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. And how do I know your name? Who are you? I've never met you, the likes of you before. Quit playing, Leon. We all fought the Heartless together. You know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? Sorry. I can't believe it. You can't- How can you have forgotten about us? I feel for you, but you've got the wrong guy. Happens all the time. Don't take it pers- too Don't take it so personally, Sora. So you do- so you do know his- you do know his name. Now, now hold on. Why do I know your name? You sure, Leon? You think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not funny. Sora's really upset. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who- Hey. I don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Leon, maybe Eric was on onto something after all. She said she sent some uncanny kind of power, and asked us to look into it. Well, this is un as uncanny as it can as it gets. Maybe you should take Sora to see Eric. Yuffie, you know my name. Yep, looks like you know mine too. You know him? Never seen him before. Nope, total stranger, but I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. How is it that you can accept this situation so easily? I don't get you. 
Well, I'm going to run ahead and fill uh, Aerith in. Leon, you give them the grand tour. See you later. It's ten minutes. Okay. I guess it's no pounder use pounding over it. Come on, follow me. What? But there are heartless wanderers in town. I better teach you how to prepare, protect yourself in battle. This is the last tutorial you have, um, of battling. So after this, you're on your own. See the number of cards on your, uh, see the numbers printed on your card? It's pointed right there if you can't see it. They range from 0 to 9. Higher numbers mean stronger cards. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Go on, try it. Since Leon has a 2, I can use a 4. If he uses a 5, I can card break it, which means nothing happens. If his card is higher than mine, then I, he attacks. Then can he guards it. See how it works? Playing a card higher than your opponent and breaking through their defenses is called a card break. Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever is on the so losing side of a break is left wide open to attack. Don't let that person be you. Cards with zero as their value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes last, and useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Now it's time to teach you how to stop cards. You don't have to use battle cards at one at a time. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. This is called stocking cards. Stocking cards and using them in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. Go on. Give it a try. Stock any three cards in your deck. Let me think here. I want a uh, nine, a three, and a two. Okay. Sliding dash. The sum of your three stock cards becomes the value you play. The value is usually high and hard to break, and the combo attack deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back. Show me what you can do. There. Combo attacks aren't the only benefit of stocking cards. Use your cards carefully, and you can unleash special abilities called slates. Slates come in all var varieties. And each has its own unique card combination. You should try it at once. You've com collected more cards and learned a slate or two. Keep one thing in mind. Every time you use stock cards, the first you lose the first card you pick. You can't reload it. The lost card won't return until the end of the battle. Relying only on strengths will cause your cards to run out. That means trouble. Thus ends the tutorial. Think you got the hang of it, Sora? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Here, I found this lying around. You take it. Remember what I told you, and make good use of it. You obtain a Kimba, a six. And you obtain the key to guidance. Key of guidance. It is 14 minutes on the video. It's time for me to end this part and see you guys next time. Bye.